I've gone a whole three months um, doing like a clothes minimalism project. Um, I haven't worn, um, I've limited my wardrobe to um, 33 items in total, including tops and dresses and shoes. Um, yeah, shoes included. Oh my god, um, I've done so well. Um, and I've done that for three months and uh, it has really given me um, a more creative perspective on how I approach clothes and things and at the same time it's made me more accountable for what it is that I choose to um, buy as clothes and um, just a bit more kind of um, accountability behind uh, my decisions as a consumer. Um, which sounds really boring, but it is so important because people get massively exploited. We've all seen like the disasters that go on in factories and things. And why do we want clothes that are like literally inhumane? So we live in a evolved world where we don't have to do that. So basically, uh, during the last three months, I've been researching more and more into um, consumerism and things like that. Not that I've ever been. Uh, naive to it. I've always been kind of a bit focused on um, kind of where products come from and uh, like chemical and best environmental practices behind production of goods and like the clothes industry is one of the most polluting polluting industries out there. <laughs> to celebrate my three months of um, I want to say sobriety, um, consumerism sobriety and minimalism I am um, I got myself a few treats um, but it's not like, it's not a massive haul, it's just a few treats. Um, I don't think, I think it's gonna be really difficult to do any like hauls because um, I don't, there's no need to haul. Like, have a look at what's in your wardrobe and just like get some really, really good classic pieces. Um, like, <sighs> research your decisions and uh, go from there. I think, I feel as though I need to start off with my present to myself. For, um, for doing this and achieving it and uh, I wore them last week to um, like a house party house party? to a neighbour's birthday party like within the same building because they are a new pair of heels um, sometimes I just like to wear them around the house to wear them in but I hadn't done so and walking upstairs and then kind of walking back downstairs was the majority of our kind of commute to, um, to this little uh, gathering last week but they are these gorgeous burgundy, they are these gorgeous burgundy Rupert Sanderson um, boots and they are just so beautiful and I absolutely adore them and I just thought like treat yourself, British designer, um, kind of thoughtfully made, they've got some really good ethical practices um, and I thought well could you resist? Um, they're really, really cute. I love their, um, like they've got like a little gold, little gold piece uh, just at the back of the heel. So they are, they are so structured. They're so lovely. Um, British designers. Um, yeah, why not support local talent um, and things closer to home? And my other treat was this little thing, which is a 1940s Youngins um, antique timepiece. Um, it's a like a 17 joule movement uh, mechanical watch and it's just so beautiful um, and so delicate and the little face is just the little face is beautiful. Um, I love Youngins as a uh, like a watch house um, or a virology house and for me like I like what better treat than like a timepiece. I just I'm absolutely enamoured with this. It's a beautiful little, it's a beautiful tiny little face and it's, it's a true testament to um, great craftsmanship so for me I just, oh, I adore it. I've been kind of thinking more and more about like my wardrobe going forward for winter and things and um, one of the things is that normally when it gets to winter and the sun disappears behind all the clouds and it gets dark really early I just go for a complete black uniform so um, I go for like all my suits of black and my blazers and everything like that all hues of navy, sometimes I'll jazz it up with navy if I'm having a really good day and um, so I kind of thought maybe this year I should be like I should just try something a little bit different um, and uh, kind of like does it have to be, does it have to be 
be dark? Why not have like a lighter suit, which is very, very summer orientated, but have like a lighter suit and maybe um, like a big shilling uh, jacket or something over it. Um, so I kind of uh, went on to ASOS and ASOS is very accountable when it comes to its um, environmental practices and its ethics. And I I also really love it for um, its kind of like uh, green room edits and things like that. And you can find like really cool um, like up and coming kind of ethical um, like designers and things. Um, there's a few, there's like, is it dog -eared? Um, that do like those friendship bracelets and things and they're so cute um, and like they're based on like best practice and things like that so um, I just uh, like what is it from the kind of petite range because I am so short I got a an ultra house suit and it's not beige this isn't beige it's not beige um, so it's kind of like a like a dusty pink um, uh, kind of um, trouser suit basically and the little blazer is brilliant because it completely like fits me um, it's so sweet um, it's just a really light kind of fabric so Primark you place you I popped into the Primark on uh, New Street just to have a look at like what was going on and things and um, I couldn't resist <laughs> this is ridiculous I couldn't resist this tiny little clutch bag which is absolutely ridiculously cute. After spending a weekend with my um, cousin in Somerset and her beautiful cat, I'm just completely obsessed with all things cat. Um, I want to be a cat woman, I'm begging Andrew to get like 50 cats, um, but he and the dog aren't okay with that. Um, it was actually in their children's, it was actually in their children's range, um, <laughs> it makes it even more lame, but it is so cute, I adore it so much. I can't wait for um, sunshine holidays and things like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, I didn't often. I'm, I try not to often buy from Primark, um, but that was just too cute, and I couldn't resist. <laughs> Bad me. And then my last little, my last little kind of gift was this book by Adam Ford, The Art of Mindful Walking, and um, it is like it's so. <sighs> It's such a great read and I quickly skimmed through it once um, and I kind of like, it's next to my bed, um, it's kind of superseded Paolo Coelho's The Alchemist um, just because like every now and then when I kind of want to um, yeah, just have like sit back and not be on my phone before bed I'll just read a few pages out of this and it's just like a really good way to kind of serene and make, make things kind of okay. So Paolo Coelho's um, Alchemist has been superseded by The Art of Mindful Walking by Adam Ford, but I'm not kind of saying that this is as epic, um, I'm just saying that like currently it's my um, kind of read. And, and also on the subject of books, one last one, I've had this for like a few weeks now, and it is Wendell Berry's um, collected poems, so it's all like Collect it's all the poems that Wendell Berry had produced. Wendell Berry, if you've never come across him, is a um, fantastic American um, literate, literate um, poet, and he is um, his words are so beautiful, like crazy beautiful. Um, I just want to find, oh, I want to read you. Oh God, there are so many beautiful, beautiful words by him that I just I, I'm absolutely enamoured. Um, yeah, there's, there's this really great one um, that's like, uh, there's this really great verse that is all about um, a warning to my readers and this resonates with me so deeply and it's, do not think me gentle because I speak in praise of gentleness or elegant because I honour the grace that keeps this world. I am a man crude as any, gross of speech, intolerant, stubborn, angry, full of fits and furies. That I may have spoken well at times is not natural. I wonder is what it is. And for me, that poem just resonates with um, all of my kind of uh, literature background. The words you choose to the words you choose to use don't define um, your character necessarily. Um, I think that's uh, a lot to do with um, like what people are as wordsmiths. I think my vocabulary is. Uh, kind of like evolving to different situations so um, 
I, it can be very, very deceptive um, and make me seem either wonderful or horrible when at times that isn't actually a true depiction of who I am. So that is everything. I think the kind of minimalism project has been one of the best things that I've ever done. Um, I'm going to do it again. Uh, I'm going to clear out my wardrobe ready for the winter and just stick to uh, shopping well and choosing a little bit like more sensibly. Have a really really good day ahead and thank you for watching and I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you and uh, have a really great day. My god my hair looks huge. Is it long? Um, oh my god! Do you know what? I think my dog's got to them already. There's a tiny little nibble in the heel. That dog. I love him so much. I just want to eat his face. So I'm going to have to think about storage options, aren't I? I love Apollo. I love him so much. He loves my footwear.